Um, didn't I tell you guys? Didn't I tell you guys? Next week, Thursday, Creative Destructions. Biggest update. Check this out. <laughs> Guys, this has to be one of the biggest creative destruction updates to date. Seriously. The patch notes are out for next Thursday, and I want to read through it, you guys, to show you exactly what it's all about. Now, I'm going to go through it slowly to make sure I clear up everything. So, starting off, they're bringing out an all-new suit, the Prismatic Power Legendary Weapon, and the Silver Fox Suit packs are now available. So, that's going to be next Thursday. Uh, there's going to be more pictures released on their official Facebook soon. So if you're not following them on their official Facebook, go over there and follow them now. Um, next, we're going to have real-time voice chat optimization. Which means there's not going to be any weird abnormal noises. No! No! You fucking no! You're going to be able to talk to each other much better in game. So when you kill someone, you're going to be able to hear them much clearer. etc on mobile devices so that is going to make things 10 times better that's going to make some good troll videos as well so here we go guys right so here's a huge update with the airstrike so a lot of you guys complain that the airstrike when you used it you should be getting the kills for it i mean you used it you should get the kills so the airstrike remotes damage source modifier has been changed if an explorer is eliminated by an airstrike the source of the damage will be attributed to the explorer using using the remote so if you're using a remote here we go if an explorer eliminates another explorer with an airstrike remote it will count as a kill so the airstrike remote uh, remote is literally 10 times better now you get kills so you can plant that over like eden vines at the start of the map if you get lucky to find one and just wipe out everyone there how good is that <laughs> seriously um so they've also they're optimizing the weapons hugely so they're optimizing the trajectory of the pistols rifles and smgs so when you're shooting guys the trajectory means um how close the bullet is um how kind of like straight the bullet stays on your cursor instead of like spreading out somewhere so they're optimizing that they're also optimizing the napalm bomb special effects anima anima animation so that should uh, look a lot better as well uh, they've added festival lantern announcements so basically it lets the whole server know whenever you get something cool so if you pick up maybe i don't know like a golden rocket launcher or like i said the airstrike you might get a notification everyone else might get a notification that you get that so it'll be easier to know what other people have so that's pretty cool so you can now rotate crop and preview uploaded avatars so upload your perfect avatar so if we go back i think what it means guys is you can you'll be able to upload your own avatar somewhere on your home page so if you've got like an avatar like a youtube avatar or anything like that or if you want you've got like a cartoon character that looks like yourself I think you're going to be able to upload it on this page, so that's going to be absolutely awesome. So, let's carry on. Uh, they fixed the problem where the napalm bomb would disappear when travelling through the air for a long time. I have i haven't experienced that myself, but if that's a thing, then that's good. Obviously, they're fixing all the bugs in the game. Uh, they fixed a problem with delayed floating damage text. Uh, they fixed a team... A channel notification error that occurred when inviting friends to a team so again they're optimizing everything every single week guys they're making sure that they're listening to your feedback they're making sure everything is perfect in the game um a red dot will now appear on the backstory when there are backstories that you haven't viewed yet okay uh, the renaming function guys is no longer required direct payment you can now spend diamonds to change your name so if you've always if you messed up with your name change at the start of the game now you've got a chance to change it with uh, diamonds. I can imagine it'll be maybe 100 diamonds. I, I can't see it being any more than that. So that's pretty cool. Um, they've increased the number of bullets that drop when using a gold map to mine in the S4 gold rush mode. I haven't actually played that mode yet. So I think you guys will understand what that's all about. Uh, they've uh, adjusted the UIs, increased the thickness of the crosshair again. Explorers will now be able to see the crosshair more clearly. So, 
as you guys know, the... Oh, sorry. Actually, no, sorry. As you guys know, the first crosshair in Seasons 1 to 3 was really small. It was a really small cross... Uh, sorry, it was really big. It was a really big crosshair. So they decreased the size to it being really small on the PC version and, and the mobile version. They've, they've In Season 4, they decreased it so it's really, really small. Um... So now they're increasing it in size because they uh, we've had a lot of people complain that this they're kind of struggling to actually hit people. So they've increased the size of the crosshair again. So that's amazing. So everyone wanted that and they've actually listened and done it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, when creating a battlefield in the custom room, you can now choose whether or not you want to launch Aurora airdrops. So for me, myself, and for the other CD Novas, when you want to create a custom room, you can decide whether you want the gold boxes in each of the cities. Um... Let's have a look at us. They've enhanced the transparency of the gas bomb, making it harder to find. So the gas bomb, guys, the blue gas bomb. I know not a lot of you guys use it. I use it sometimes, mainly when I'm trolling players. But the gas bomb, they've made it so it's slightly invisible. So like the, the transparency is much less. So it's going to be much harder to actually see it on the ground. Well, they say that, but it might not be. Now, here it is, guys. Here is the daddy of... What everyone wanted on the PC version. Players of the PC and Steam versions, US servers, can now match together. Players of both servers can add each other as, friend, as friends. Ranks of both servers will be merged together. A temporary suffix will be added to a nickname. If it shares the same nickname with another player, they will be given a free chance to change their name. So guys, they are cross-platforming. The Steam version and the website version only on the US server. Boom. Again, if your name is kind of looks like someone else's, you can change your name for free or they can change their name for free. But that is what everyone wanted. So they finally don't they're finally doing it next week, next Thursday, guys. So again, this update is February 21st, 2019. It's gonna be the biggest update so far, in my opinion. And then, guys, I think soon after, we've got Season 5 coming and a Playground mode coming as well. So make sure you look out for those. Again, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I always bring out all the new updates and everything about the game before it comes out. So subscribe if you want to find out about everything before it comes out. Get your notifications on as well to know when I post videos. Hit a like on the video. That would be awesome. And can I get a... Hey, yeah, boy! <laughs>